qualified for the grand final. Were you expecting to uh, to get straight through and beat the top side last week? Um, I knew it would be a battle, but you know, um, the girls we came, we really came together after the few losses we had at the end of the season and brought it home, brought it back to Melbourne. How important was the win, I guess, for the group, considering Sam Richards as mm -hmm. well and her situation with the injury? How important was it to get that week off and, and to qualify straight through? Yeah, just having the rest and getting getting your bodies right. It's just great going in and it's really it's a big confidence boost as well, you know, being home in Melbourne to play in front of all our friends and family and, and fans, it's it's a great feeling. You're more confident playing in Melbourne than, than perhaps playing into state in the final? Yeah, I'm not a very good traveller. I get really tired from travelling and it's good to sleep in your own bed. I know it sounds like little things, but it's the little things that really help. Mm. Obviously this season for you in particular is a very different situation to last year. Last year you were you know, the rising star and, and then you went off and had your WNBA experience and you've come back and although you're obviously still a young player, you, you know, the, the feeling around the league is that you're probably now a lot more experienced than you mm -hmm. might have been last year. How how's it been for you, that change and that difference? It's been a bit of a struggle. I feel myself as a very experienced player and I'm used to playing with, you know, 26 year olds plus and, you know, this year at Berlin we've got an average age of 22 or something crazy like that. So I struggled a bit with the young group, you know, patience and leadership and just getting used to the whole thing. But, you know, I find we finally got our stuff together, you know, last week and a better late than never. Your, your minutes have been sort of up and down as well, but, you know, your numbers are still pretty, yeah, pretty good in considering that you know, you have played some games, a lot of minutes, some games, Tom's only played you in, in 20 or, or less than 20 minutes. Uh, has that been a, a, a bit of a difficult thing to adjust to and, and how have you gone about that mentally? I haven't really noticed the whole minutes thing. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not really one to go look at the stats after a game. Um, just hear what Tom says. Usually is how you know how you've gone during a game. But yeah, the minutes isn't really a worry for me. What... Um, you know, obviously, Dandenong and, and Adelaide are left. Uh, Adelaide, uh, a lot bigger, I suppose, than Dandenong. And Dandenong, mm -hmm. their strength is probably more in their mm -hmm. backcourt with, with um, Kat, Steph and, and Jenna Hay. Uh, which do you feel you, as a team, match up better against? I think we match up with both teams pretty well. I think it'll be a really interesting game on Saturday. You know, Dandenong are on a mission it seems like and you know Adelaide have been top of the of the ladder the whole way and you know it's kind of like Dandenong came out of nowhere to get back in the finals and now they're just you know they're giving it their all there's nothing to lose and I don't know who will end up playing but I know it'll be interesting and I'm excited to play either team. Mm. Do you feel I guess uh, a bit of pressure on yourself to perform being you know at, at, at 20 you are 20. Mm -hmm. At 20, you're almost like yeah, the mature head on the court, which is, which is probably a, you know, a pretty rare thing. But do you feel there's a, a bit of pressure on you to, to you know, score in the high 20s and pull in a lot of rebounds and, and lead the team, I guess, the way you did against Adelaide last week? I felt, yeah, I felt like I played my natural game on the weekend and it was been a bit forced all season. So, I don't know, if I just go in with a cool head and... Um, play my natural game and we'll have Sammy Richards back and I'll be great and I think I feel like everything will just come together and what will happen on the day will happen if it's mm. meant to be it will be. What does Sam bring to the team? Leadership, mm. a bit of age <laughs> <laughs> and she's just such a great leader and such a great point guard, great decision maker. Yeah what about her, her passing ability you, you know is she, she helpful to you getting yeah. in the lanes and she is you know I either draw people so she gets a layup or you know she's drawing them outside so I'm open it's just a good good little you know thing we've got going on mm. last year you went into the final series knowing that the whole WNBA draft thing was was on the other side of that this year you've got the Opals campaign you know uh is that a distraction at all or you know, are you solely focused now on WNBL finals and then worry about Opal stuff after that? Mm. The Opals is always there. You know, we, the girls here in Melbourne, we work out together all the time and it's, it's there. It's not going anywhere. So I've just got to focus on WNBL right now and then you know, just dive straight into the campaign. Yeah, it, there's not a lot of uh, space in between. Are you looking yep. forward to that, that process? I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. 
just wanted to come already. Yeah. Was having that uh, WNBA experience, um, I guess, a good thing for you and an eye-opening experience to know, you know, you, you've had a little taste of what, what mm -hmm. else is out there mm -hmm. basketball-wise. Do you feel you, you know, you're, you're better prepared for the Olympics having mm -hmm. had some of that experience? Yeah, I loved being in the WNBA, but I hated losing all those games. But, you know, I learned so much while I was there and I'm ready to take on what I've learned to the Olympics. Um, getting back on the bull inside of things, uh, obviously reigning champions, but a very different team. Does it still feel like you guys are defending a championship or does this feel like a totally new campaign? Uh, to me it does, being part of it last year and I'm, I'm sure it does to Tom and the coaching staff and you know Rachel and Alice and so yeah to me it definitely does and you know bringing it home for the fans, our supporters, that's that's who you go out and do it for as long as you with yourself as well so yeah I feel like I'm, I'm bringing the championship back for them. Yeah and has that experience last year been spoken about as Tom talked about you know that experience and, mm -hmm. and what it meant to the club in trying to motivate you guys? Yeah, we've spoken about it here and there, but you know, that's in the past. You, you've really got to focus on the future and the group we have now. Yeah. Um, I guess finally, what, how has your game on court changed from, from last year? What sort of a player are you now that, that you were last year? I think last year you talked about wanting to improve defensively mm -hmm. and, and, and yeah, playing around screens and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, what, who is Liz Cambridge now as a player as she, compared to last year? Um, she's a year older, a little bit wiser. I think I'm better defensively mm. and offensively as well, yeah. Always improving as the years roll on. Yeah. And uh, so Bulleen will go back to back this year? Yeah. We'll, we'll have a go. I like those little championship things, so yeah. I might, we might get another one, hopefully. Yeah. All right, well, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>